original Vectrols are kind of like a secret weapon of circuit bending. They look like this, and what's fun is you go into an electronic shop and you ask for a Vactrol, and people look at you and say, a what? You say, a Vactrol, you know, and somebody says, well, I've been working here 30 years and there's nothing called a Vactrol. It's like, okay, fine, you know. Um, but they're wonderful. They're a secret weapon and a lot of people don't even know what they are. They are simplicity itself. What they are basically is a photocell, just like a light meter, a light dependent resistor. The more light that is shined on this thing, the more voltage passes through it. You can uh, hook this up to your synthesizer or you can mount one of these right inside your speak and spell or whatever your circuit bending and then by shining a light on it and playing it with your hand if you block the light or adjust the light you can adjust the circuit that's inside so it's kind of like you know a little theremin action doing things with your hands they make small ones of these you can get them at Radio Shack you, know, you get an assortment of these things real cheap you take them and combine them with an LED. There you have a light bulb and a photocell. That's a Vactrol. And when you marry the two together, some people take silicon glue and they glom them together and they make all kinds of things. In fact, you can take a bunch of these and put them all around one LED. By the way, these are sensitive most to yellow light, so pick a yellow LED if you want the most efficient circuit. But that's basically what a Vactrol is. It's a photocell and a light bulb.